My name is Anita Mutula. I am the county first spouse of the current Makoweni governor, His Excellency Mutula Kilonza Jr. <laughs> um, I met the governor in um, Westlands uh, at a very young age. That must have been soccer 2009. <laughs> I am a mother of two. My daughter is uh, Kalista, she's 12 years old. My son Mutula uh, is uh, five years old, to, soon to be six. Motherhood must be my first hobby. I enjoy motherhood. I love being a mother. And um, other than motherhood, I love reading, love reading books, I love watching uh, movies, and uh, interacting, I'm a social being. <laughs> I schooled in Machakos County, I also schooled in Kitui County, and I somehow made my way into Makoweni County, so I must say that I am a girl of the Kamba soil, truly a girl of the Kamba soil. No, you'll be surprised that initially I actually wanted to do uh, to work a lot in the airline industry, then I ventured into hotel and hospitality management at uh, Graffins College, but I eventually changed to Bachelor of Arts at the at, uh, University of Nairobi, where I did a dum double major in communication and tourism. I, it's a field that I enjoy. I've learned a lot and I've also uh, been a member of the Chartered Institute of Marketing, which is in brackets CIM. And uh, I must say that it is a field that I enjoy much more than the hospitality uh, because it is uh, involving a lot of uh, talking and uh, being outdoors mm -hmm. more than being indoors. Mm -hmm. The role of the county first spouses, let me say county first spouses because currently we also have female governors who are married and then, and then they, also, they, count, they count as county first spouses. We are spouses to the governor. We are not elected or employed by the county, all right? But we come in as advocates. We come in uh, to represent social issues that affect the women, the children, and the youth, and generally the population of the counties. And uh, these are not issues that can be given to other people to play. We take our role very seriously, and we have seen the impact that county first ladies have had in the different counties. I have taken the role uh, with a lot of humility because it has called for me to be a role model, a mentor to the young girls, to the middle-aged women, and also to the elderly. My husband has not in, been in office for uh, a long time, it's barely six months, but I have had um, a few programs that I have run in conjunction with the health department. I have run the nutrition day. We were doing uh, below five years where we were administering vitamin A and uh, it is a day that is usually commemorated throughout the country. I have also run the World Premature Day and most recently we have had a cancer outreach also in conjunction with the health uh, uh, department where we called on to women and men to come out in large numbers and get screened for cancer and we also advocated for the HPV vaccine to be administered in the young girls and uh, that was quite a successful program uh, but I must also mention and give credit to the Ministry of Health through the uh, National Cancer uh, Control Program which is headed by Dr. Mary Nyangasi who a few days ago stated that the HPV vaccine is now available also to the adolescent boys who are the ages of 9 to 14 and that is quite a milestone in um, an attempt to eliminate the cancer. I have a registered foundation, Anita Mbenya Foundation, which is um, geared towards uh, achieving uh, certain uh, milestones for both uh, children, women, and uh, also the youth. Um, it is uh, something I'd, uh, uh, I, that is close to my heart, and I'd want to venture it uh, and uh, see children and women uh, go into you know, bigger milestones in future. Uh, when it comes to women, we empower them. When it comes to children, we, we do matters and nutrition and ensure for healthy growth. When it comes to youth, we give them activities and rehabilitate. Mm -hmm. Because you find that most of the youth that are engaged in stuff to do with drugs are not busy. You know, most of them have, have either cleared their Form 4 or their Class 8, and they don't have activities to, to keep them busy. And therefore, when you have activities like, like sports, you know, you engage them in sports activities, in community work, 
they, are, they get more uh, involved and also encourage them to also enroll in these CTTIs which keep them busy and empower themselves and, and they can keep off uh, the drugs and all that. Uh, we are not talking about the young girls, the teenagers and the middle-aged mothers uh, who possibly are looking at me from a point of a role model. And I'd like to reiterate that, um, especially to the young girls in school, that there is no career as first lady. You know you have to look at uh, bigger opportunities, walk and, wa walk and walk the path and uh, believe in yourselves and know that you can get anything, you can, you can make your dreams valid. And uh, as I said, my background is in communication and therefore those, those, those are tangible skills and, and, and you cannot say that when I grow up I want to be a first lady. So when it comes to roles of um, mentorship and uh, being a role model to the young girls, it has uh, come at a, at a time when we really need it because the youth are out there and uh, are, are not well mentored. And being a spouse to a politician, and in my case a governor, who is uh, most of the time based uh, in the outskirts of Nairobi, being Makueni, um, Saturdays are not a day we count as weekend per se. It's a working day for them, and even Sundays. So when you have him at home on Sunday or Saturday, you take advantage of that and spend time with him, cook for him his favorite meal. He's a, he loves chicken, he loves fish, and you'll be surprised that... Uh, Sometimes he is the one who also, you know, surprises us with a meal. He's a very good cook. And uh, we get to spend a lot of time with him on Sundays. I'd say Sundays a lot is a, is a, is a day that we get to spend with the governor. That is when he has a, a gap, you know, some space for us. The theme of uh, this year's International Women's Day, which is on inv innovation and technology for gender equality. Um, I'd urge all women and even young girls to embrace uh, new technology and adapt to digital technology and the new technology that is out there and uh, empower themselves and be out there to be counted in matters development. Specifically from like my county, Makweni, we have uh, 14 ICT centers that are in different uh, CTTIs. Um, I'd, 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 take, I'd leverage on that uh, to advocate for di digital literacy amongst women and girls. We also have an innovation hub at, uh, the, at in water where I'd also leverage on the same to encourage and let women know that it exists and they can go and take advantage of the, of the same and be empowered with the new technology. Mm -hmm. Makueni County, through the able leadership of His Excellency Mutula Kilonzo Jr., is in collaboration with the National Fiber Optic to set up uh, hotspots in uh, business centers, popularly known as the markets. And these hotspots will be an advantage to the women who are the ones who mostly use um, these uh, business centers and uh, they'll be able to access uh, the hotspots and run their businesses digitally and efficiently. What I'd like to urge uh, the, the women and the girls out there on this International Women's Day, let's embrace technology and, 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 and innovation because that is the theme for this year. Let us not shy away from the field. Let's take advantage of what is available out there and take advantage and learn new technology and embrace it. Um, let's support the women. Let, you know, this is a predominantly male-based uh, field when it comes to innovation and technology. So let's bring in on board more women and uh, close the gender digital access gap.